During Wednesday's Bravo episode of Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, Sofia Vergara declared that she doesn't date males under the age of 50. Following the announcement of her separation and plan to file for divorce from her 47-year-old spouse, Joe Manganiello, last July, the single celebrity revealed her dating rules. Sofia remarked, they can't be younger than 50, I'm 51. All right, 49. Is that truly your rule? Stated Andy. Yes, I am intelligent, declared Sophia, who recently shared the reason behind their divorce, saying her former partner desired children and she did not. This rule is a disaster for me, Andy exclaimed. In a recent interview, Sophia opened out to El Pays about the reasons for her and Joe's breakup. My spouse was younger, he desired children, and I didn't want to become an elderly mother, she stated, explaining why their marriage ended. I feel it's not fair to the baby, she told the site. That's no longer for me, but I appreciate those that do it. She said, I had a son at 19, who is now 32, and I'm ready to be a grandmother, not a mother, mentioning her son Manolo from her first marriage to her high school lover Joe Gonzalez. Thus, when love presents itself, he must bring his own kids. The native of Colombia appeared on the program to promote her new Netflix miniseries Griselda, which is based on the life of Griselda Blanco, the infamous cocaine godmother and drug boss in Colombia. Andy, 55, questioned Sofia about a juicy fact involving her former co-stars. He began by focusing on Reese Witherspoon. She'll consume anything, Sofia remarked. How about Simon Cowell? inquired Andy. He doesn't seem as serious as he is, Sophia remarked. Snoop Dogg? asked Andy. It's hot, Sophia exclaimed. Julie Bowen? asked Andy. She's my sister, declared Sophia. Are you participating in a modern family text chain? asked Andy. Of course, Sophia replied. Ed O'Neill, who is much older than any of us, will do it, but he doesn't really do it in the proper manner, which makes it hilarious. He'll respond with a joke or a question about 26 weeks later. Ed O'Neill, posed by Andy. Sophia exclaimed, he's the love of my life. Kevin Hart, posed by Andy. Very, very, very annoying, exclaimed Sophia. Sarah Hyland, inquired Andy. The beauty, declared Sophia. Eric Stone Street, inquired Andy. Good buddy, Sophia remarked. Andy asked her whether she had a favorite Modern Family episode that she could still recall. According to Sophia, there was a Halloween-themed episode produced in the second season. We couldn't seem to come to an agreement, Sophia remarked. I was a witch Ed O'Neill was dressed like a gargoyle. Sophia claimed they were only giggling. Andy displayed a scene from Sophia's new show in which she was physically aggressive. What made you interested in the Griselda story? posed by Andy. I had never heard of that woman, so I was very interested in her, Sophia remarked. I grew up in Colombia during that time period, the 1970s 80s and 90s Sophia remarked. We all knew who the major drug dealers were, and we all understood the business. And I don't know anything about women. She was just as powerful as these guys in terms of killing, money, and business dealings, Sophia remarked. What this woman did is amazing in a bad way. The fact that this woman accomplished it while raising four children intrigues me the most. Sophia was asked by a virtual fan what she thought of 54-year-old Catherine Zeta-Jones, who played Griselda in the Cocaine Godmother television movie on Lifetime. I believe I was offered the role, Sophia remarked. It's unclear to me if it happened before or after her. I never intended for this to be that script. But for whatever reason, I ended up with it. I expressed my belief that this character requires a change in direction. I was almost ready to give birth to Griselda, therefore I declined that. A different fan inquired about her response upon discovering that Bad Bunny had included a line about her in his song Monica. Sophia stated, I threw my phone and then picked it up. Everyone was texting me. It was so thrilling. I cherish him. If she had a favorite America's Got Talent act of all time, Andy wanted to know. Sophia chose the Matias, an all-female dancing group, that won season 17 of AGT, as her 2020 to Golden Buzzer selection.
It was incredibly captivating, Sophia remarked.